We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Wong Ki Min, who's chairman designate of the upcoming ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014, being held in Busan in the Republic of Korea. Mr. Min, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. It's my pleasure. Mr. Min, you've been chosen by the host country, the Republic of Korea, to serve as chairman of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. That'll take place in Busan from the 20th of October. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to be nominated for this role? According to the ITU general rules, the Korean government designated me as a chairperson for the upcoming ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. Since 1988, I have been working for the Korean government, especially in the field of ICT. And in between times, I also had a chance to work for the international organizations for seven years. Three years for the OECD, three years at the World Bank, and less than one year, but approximately one year at the UN APCICT. So those kind of experience in the international organizations and the Korean government might bring me to take this position as the chairperson of the upcoming plenipotential conference. And I'm really honored to have this kind of opportunity. I thank to the Mike government for giving me this opportunity to serve as a chairperson of the next plenipotential conference. So could you explain exactly what role the chairman plays in a large international event such as the plenipot? I had an experience to serve as the chairperson of the OECD Telecommunication and Information Service Policy Working Party. But as you know, OECD has these small memberships, so there are about 30 countries. So when we had discussion with that working party, it was very easy to communicate with each other. And the way to communicate with each other was quite casual. But here in the plenipotentiary conference, we have 193 member states, in addition to sector members and observers. So the atmosphere will be totally different. We expect we have more than 1,000 representatives in the plenary session. But when you look at the main function of the chairperson, it would not be that much different. I believe that the major role of the chairperson is to facilitate the discussion among all member states and all stakeholders represented in the plenary. And I, I would like to give the kind of chance to all member states to fully express their views so other members can understand what views other stakeholders have. When they do understand better about different views and ideas, then there would be more chance of compromisation among member states. So I see my role as a kind of facilitator of the discussion among member states. The ITU prides itself on a history of international consensus building which dates back almost 150 years. In the event that some contentious issues find their way onto the agenda, how will you as chairman ensure that the constructive debate needed to keep proceedings on track is maintained. As I already told you, I think the major role of the chairperson is to facilitate the discussion among all member states. There are issues which actually divide the member states. So member states can have different positions, extremely different positions on certain issues. But that does not necessarily mean that there will not be a compromise on those issues. And as you mentioned, ITU has this great tradition of consensus building. I do believe that all member states respect that legacy. And I, I, I'm also quite confident that in the next plenipotentiary conference, we will strengthen that legacy and that tradition. There is a kind of concern because we have very heavy agenda in the next plenipotentiary, but I do believe that we will deliver very constructive and productive outcome at the end of the day with the spirit of togetherness. Finally, Mr. Min, I believe that the host country, the Republic of Korea, is planning plenty of attractions and activities throughout PP14, not just for the delegates, but also for the general public. Could you tell us a little bit about what's in store? Yes, indeed. Along with the plenipotentiary conference, we plan to have Global ICT Conference, World IT Show, and Smart Korean Festival. We believe that these events will raise the kind of the attention to the plenipotentiary conference. In fact, year 2015 
will be the 150th anniversary of ITU. ITU has done marvelous work for the last 149 years, so this is time for celebration and give the chance to the general public to get the idea of what kind of things have be been done by the ITU and what kind of thing could be expected from ITU for the next 150 years. We hope that these side events will help the, the general public to know the value of potential conference and the, actually the value of ICT for our daily lives and how ICT can contribute for our future lives. So I hope all of you to come to Busan this October and enjoy all the festivals together with this important ITU Planet Potential Conference. We very much look forward to it and look forward to catching up with you in, in Busan uh, in October. Thank you very much. I look much. forward to seeing you in Busan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.